Hi everyone! Okay, this is just a, another video and it's to show you how I made this flower headband. I used um, three flowers and I've also added some pearls in there as well. And they, it, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make. Um, you can also make this into your own flower under scarf, so if you want to know how I made it, then please keep watching. Okay, to make this flower headband, what you will need is a headband, of course, and this can be in any colour you want it to be. You will need two pieces of rectangular shaped felt, and these have been cut into um, one inch by four inches and you'll need two of those. You will also need some ribbon and you'll need two colours or you could just use all in all one colour, it's entirely up to you, but for the headband that I've made um, I'm using two colours and I've got a brown and a gold and you can use any leftover fabric or any old scarves um, to make these. You don't have to go out and buy them so if you've got any leftover fabric that will do just fine and these have been cut into the center flower it needs to be slightly longer than the two side flowers so this the center one measures about two inches by 30 inches in length and the two side flowers measure again two inches but are slightly shorter at 20 20 inches and you will also need a few beads and they're optional and of course some needle and thread. Okay, so to start off with what we need to do is make the flowers and to make them you just need to take your ribbon or your fabric and you need to sew a running stitch just down one side and I've already done that on this one and what you do is you take it and then you just start to ruffle ruffle it up so it's just all you need to do is just pull along the string and just pull the fabric fabric down until you end up with something that looks a bit like that which is a bit of a mess at the moment but then you just need to straighten it up and then if you were to you just need to pull that around and then just pull on it once more to bring it together and there you have a flower and all that you need to do is sew just around the center just to secure that in place okay and it should look something like that when when you're finished and then all you need to do is do the same with the other two pieces of ribbon. So I'm just going to do that now. And then once you've done that, they should look something like this. Okay, and then what we need to do is then these flowers onto one of the pieces of felt. So the way I'm going to line it up is place the, the bigger flower in the centre and then the two other flowers on each side so it should look something <laughs> like that so yeah you just need to sew them to that piece of felt I'm just going to do that now okay so I've finished sewing it onto the back of the felt and it should look something like that now all I need to do is take in some of these beads I'm going to sew three beads in the centre of each flower and I'm just going to do that so once you've sewn your pearls on it should look something like that and if you're using large pearls like I have three should be enough but if you're using smaller ones then 
by all means use as much as you want and they've only been, they've been stitched and secured onto the felt. Now what you could do if you wanted to make your own flower under scarf what you could do is take a spare bonnet or bone or under scarf and you can sew this piece of felt onto the side of your bonnet so you've got your own flower under scarf and you'll be able to save some money but as I'm making a headband what I've done with the other rectangular piece of felt I've sewn the headband onto that and I've sewn it around where you usually get the um, silver clasp bit so I've just sewn it around there and I've made sure that's very secure because obviously the last thing I want is that coming undone and then all we need to do is sew that piece of felt onto, onto this one and then you need to just stitch around the outside to secure the two pieces together so there you have it it's all been completed I've stitched around the back just to secure it all in place and it looks really pretty again you could use any colour you want I've used gold and brown but um, you can use black or white um, sorry black and white or purple and lilac or any colour is entirely up to you but as you can see they are really easy to make and there's so much you can do with them I mean if you wanted to you don't have to create them into headbands you can make these out into brooches if you want to know how to do that you, um, I've uploaded another video showing just how to make a brooch but, um, but yeah really easy to do I mean another thing that you can do is when you make these flowers you can sew it onto a piece of felt and then glue a bobbin pin at the back and you can just have a little hair grip and um, so yeah so many things you can do with them and like I said they are really pretty I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe